Hello and welcome. This is Aideen from PLDA and I'm here to talk to you today about in-system debugging of PCI Express devices. Debugging issues in a PCI Express system is often challenging and can be time-consuming. PCI Express is a complex protocol that offers little or no visibility on problems with a long-term impact. Fortunately, PCIe users benefit from a wide ecosystem of debug tools, ways to increase visibility, troubleshooting methods, and experts to assist with debugging. First, let's have a look at four common hardware problems. A link not training or training at an unexpected width. A link may not be established because of reset, receiver detection or link quality issues. While a link retraining at an unexpected width may indicate a lane reliability issue. Link speed issues. These may be caused by the device not being ready quickly enough after a reset, a speed change to 8 GTS or an equalization fail. Traffic issues can result in missing TLPs, duplicate TLPs or unexpected traffic. Recovery. The LTSSM may go into recovery because of a link quality issue, a flow control timeout, a device or link partner malfunction, or a low power entry or exit issue. 